into a nowhere to party before. I show him. Listen, you are in for a treat, okay? I am so excited. I love when I get those Norwex virgins and I get to break you in. So, this little box is going to change your life. It's gonna change your cleaning life, but no matter what, change is change, right? This is gonna change your life forever. So in this box are five products that you do not want to be without. So, I love when things come packaged and they're all together because that just means it's nice and neat which I love, so I'm just gonna open it. And it's called the Safe Haven 5, and this really is where you wanna get started because these are gonna be the basics that you need to get started on your NoWorks journey. Okay, so in this box, the first product is an Enviro cloth, and everything we sell has a 60-day money-back guarantee. All of our cloths have a two-year warranty, so we totally firmly stand behind all of our products, right? So this is the first product I'm going to talk about. This is the Enviro cloth, and you can remember E for everything. You can use this cloth and water to clean like up to 85% of the surfaces in your home. And I know it all sounds like buckets, and I'm telling you witchcraft, but just stay with me. So with your Enviro cloth, why you can clean with just water is because our microfiber is set apart from anything else you're going to find in Target or Walmart or wherever you can buy it. So typical microfiber starts with a fiber about the size of a human hair, and then it's split at least one sixth of a time, spun, woven into a cloth, right? Well, no one's microfiber. It starts with a fiber the size of a human hair, but it's split one two hundredth the size of a human hair, spun, woven into a cloth, so that you have millions of feet of fiber within every cloth you're using. Those fibers work on your behalf to literally wipe and lift away whatever's on your surface including up to 99% of germs and bacteria. So that is just to kind of give you a mental picture. So typical microfiber, one six. Norwex, one two hundred. So the, before I tell you what I'm gonna tell you, let me back up a second. So you're gonna get four basic benefits with Norwex. No matter which one is important to you, you're gonna get all four of these. You're gonna get rid of harmful chemicals in your home, which are wreaking havoc on our health, our environment you're going to be able to save a lot of money because you're not buying all of those things that you're using and throwing away literally we're buying trash you buy it to use it one time and throw it away let's stop doing that you're also going to be able to save a lot of time listen I'm a neat freak but I don't like cleaning I want to get in get out and do what I enjoy and then the fourth thing is you're really going to be able to create a whole lot less waste right so helping you understand that how you're gonna save time. One six is like adding a hand and a finger to your helping you clean, right? That's what you're gonna get out of Target Walmart. With Norwex, one two hundred, that's like adding 40 hands. Man, that's gonna help you get that cleaning done and get on to something you enjoy. So, then also interwoven with our cloth when it's made is a micro silver. The benefit of that silver is it helps to keep your cloth cleaner longer. So if you've ever picked up a sour or stinky dish cloth, and it's disgusting, nobody wants to do that, it really is just bacteria growing and multiplying in that material before it has the opportunity to dry, but the silver really prohibits that growth so that you're not getting a stinky cloth all the time. Nobody don't want that, right? So this is the Enviro cloth, the one that you use, clean, you use wet to clean all kinds of things. Then this little doohickey, this is the window cloth. We really should call it the polishing cloth with the blow yeah. We should call this a polishing cloth because people think they can only use it for windows. But this is for anything you want shiny or street free. Window, mirror, chrome, stainless steel, black stove top. It's like the old karate kid. Wax on, wax yeah. off. This is your one-two punch, right? So I'm gonna show you what I mean. I have a couple things here. This is a mirror. It's double-sided, but I have something on the back so you make sure I don't trick you. And I use this one side. And then I have some body balm. I used to use butter used to use Vaseline, but like, why not use a Norwex product, right? So the body balm is awesome, it smells wonderful, normally I pass that around, but it's great, especially like after the winter, you know, when you have those feet covered up with socks and boots, and then you take them out and it looks like you've been chopping blocks. This is going to totally, totally eradicate that and give you those nice smooth heels, those nice smooth elbows. It's great for all kinds of things like that. It has beeswax in it and lots of different things to help really moisturize the skin. And so you're gonna get, you know, it's like thinking about a stove top after something greasy. So you 
that if I see this yucky mirror. And this is an Enviro cloth. So this is just, and I love to bring one of my own from home that I've been using for people to see that it's got little, you know, stains on it, all kinds of things, because I want them to know that they don't have to look pretty to work. So this is one of my cloths that I've been using for years. So I'm gonna fold it in half and in half. That one thing is gonna save you more time than you realize because you're not walking back and forth to the sink every time you use it. Because if you grab a cloth like this, and you just start wiping, you don't know where it hit, and so then you're walking back to, and forth to the sink after every wipe. You're not doing that if you fold it in half and in half because now you have eight sides. One, two, fold it this way, three, four, and inside out for another four, total of eight. So I fold it like that little window cloth on my shoulder and I have this junky mirror and I can take this and wipe very thoroughly we want to make sure we get all of that greasy residue off of that surface and then I go right behind it with my window cloth because that way you want to make sure any water particles that were left behind that had any of that residue in it you want to make sure it's completely removed so now you have a nice clean streak free mirror we pass that around for them to be able to see up close and make sure that that's clean, right? Then, to help you understand that these cloths are amazing and really not transferring germs, so it's not like you're picking something up from one surface and transferring it to another, another little demonstration here for you. So this is also a Novix product, it's super cute. This is our cutting board, which is made out of rice husk, which I didn't even know was a thing. But anyway, <laughs> it has, um, I just get my rice out of a bag. But anyway, so this has a little drip tray, and I love this little one because we like smoothies. This is all I have to pull out when I need to cut off all the little fruit rather than a big one. And then it has this little hole to hang it, and it has a silicone bottom so it doesn't slide around. Okay, then, this is also a Norwex product, but it's a little waterproof pouch for carrying your Norwex. But in this front little zipper, it has um, a little swab that's similar to what they use in restaurants to test to make sure where your food is being prepped from is a clean, safe, non-contaminated surface. You know how they get those little letters? Just a side note. If you go in there and don't have an A, turn around and go roll. Don't, don't <laughs> so this has four colors, green, gray, hot pink and purple. The green has a check mark, the other three have an X because the green is the only one that means it's clean. The other colors, the darker the color, more contaminated the surface, right? Then, right here, a little piece of raw chicken. So disgusting. I know my job is so glamorous. But anyway, so I'm gonna take this out. Yes, I'm taking it out with my fingers and I am gonna rub it on this side with the hole. We're just gonna focus on this side right now. So let's rub that on there. Yucky muck. Okay, so with my Enviro, and I know you think I need to go wash my hands or get some wipes or get some bleach or do something like that, but I do not. I'm just gonna wipe them with my Enviro cloth. And then, again, I'm gonna fold it in half and in half, and this time I'm gonna use it on the side with the tag. All the cloths have a tag on the corner to hang it to dry, and it tells you the name, and yes, Please use all eight sides of your cloth because I have had somebody call me and say, can I use those other seven sides? Anyway, yes, please use your whole cloth. I don't assume anything anymore. So with that tag side, I'm just gonna clean this bottom half of the cutting board and then we're gonna test it. We're gonna see what happens, right? So here's my little swab. Swab that side. Zero liquid at the top, which you just break and squeeze for it to run down onto my swab. What's the good color? Green. Good job. What color is our liquid in the bottom? Green. Very good. So now I'm going to take the same tag side of the cloth and I'm going to clean the second half of the cutting board. You know you wouldn't do this with a cotton cloth because whatever you just clean, you know you just spread to the next surface, right? So, and Let's see what happens this time. So we'll swap that one well. I'm slinging juice all over the place. Okay. <laughs> okay, what color is our liquid now? Green. So now I'm just gonna make sure I wiped my fingertips well. And I'm just gonna swab my fingertips. And I'm just gonna hit the 
this side of the clock, the side that I've been using with the tag because it's crazy how it's not just sitting on the surface. Literally, it's like it gets pulled into all of those little fibers and held onto so that it's not spreading it all around. Okay, we'll close that. No green. Okay, so if you're like me, the first time I saw this, I'm like, so what? It only turns green, you're trying to trick me. <laughs> right? I know somebody's thinking. So I I'm gonna take this swab and we're gonna swab the chicken, which was the first thing we picked up, and let's see what happens this time. <coughs> Stay green. Okay, what color is that? Purple. Yeah, purple, which is disgusting, which is the darkest color on the chart, but it's raw chicken. You know, you can get very sick from eating raw chicken. That's why you don't do it. So <laughs> with gesture and viral cloth and water, we were able to clean that surface and make sure it is nice and clean with just a cloth and water. And you see, even now, I'm not afraid to touch this cloth. Just so you know, that wasn't a magic trick. Pick that chicken up with this hand. Everybody agree? Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. These fingers. Hungry? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm telling you, that is how much I trust this cloth. I use this every single day. So wiping down different surfaces, especially in my kitchen. So I love the environment cloth. And I love that they come in different colors so that you can color code them, color coordinate them in different areas of your home. And I will tell you that you get in your safe haven five package when you get this. You get one enviro on one window, you're gonna want more than one, okay? So a great way to get more than one is to host a party to add to your collection because usually in every hostess package, there's always an enviro cloth and a window cloth so that you have multiples. Okay, this little dookie thing <coughs> is a dust mitt and it really grabs and picks up dust and holds onto it without spreading it around, without kicking it back up in your face, but really grabs it really well. And if you feel like it's not grabbing like it should, literally just rub it against itself but personally i like to have two more than one because i can get a whole lot more dust than done and if you're picking even while you're picking things up you're dusting it and it's great for people with carpal tunnel or, or arthritis because they're not having to hold on to a cloth literally you're just sticking your hand in here gliding it along put on some music mm, 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 and get all your cleaning and your dusting done right so that is the dust mitt now, this next little demonstration I wanna show you, this is a Sharpie Extreme Fade Resistant Permanent Marker. And this is a bamboo piece of hardwood flooring sample I got from Home Depot. And I'm gonna write my name on here. And we're gonna give that just a second to dry. Make sure it's nice and dry. And while I tell you about this next product, this is the cleaning paste. You definitely need this in your arsenal, and especially if you got little kids, this saves lives, people. <laughs> this, is, this has really helped some children at my house. My and whenever I see them go get it, it's like, what happened? And I, I don't even know. Just, just make it like it never happened, right? So it has three active ingredients, marble flour, coconut oil, and natural soap. And it is dry and hard when you get it. So if you get yours and you said it's dry out, it's dried out good. That's how it's supposed to be. But how you make it, when you get it, how you make it, you know, tasty, you take a damp enviro cloth and you rub it across the top. But I'm gonna show you what happens with just the enviro by itself. So if I try. Ooh, make my neck pop. Um, if I try with just my enviro cloth by itself, nothing happens. But if I combine these two, it definitely, you just rub it across until you see that you've transferred some onto your cloth, and just like that, without a whole bunch of elbow grease, I can make my name completely different, disappear from this piece of wood. And this poor little piece of wood, I've been doing this nine years, it's been to a whole bunch of parties, but you see it still has its sheen, it, does, you know, it takes away what doesn't need to be there without stripping away what does. This works great on your stove top, works great on your um, headlights of your car when they get that milky film. I've gotten ink out of my leather purse before. I've gotten permanent marker off of somebody's couch before. That their grandchild did, told you save lives. I've gotten, <laughs> um, it works great even in your shower. It works great on, you know, I'm a thrifter. I love to get things, you know, I love to, you know, thrifting. So it works great on bringing those things back. I've gotten rust 
off, you know, like little spots off the, you know, you have a lot, nice little candle someplace in front of you. But anyway, works on lots of things and this will last you a long time. And when I say a long time, I'm not talking like six months, I'm talking like two years or more. So the cleaning paste is definitely a must. Then this is the laundry detergent. This is definitely the absolute best laundry detergent I have ever used. Okay, so when you get it, there is a little scoop inside. And that's it, right? And so if you have a conventional machine, you need to use a full scoop. If you have a high efficiency, which most people do now, you need about a third or a half, no more than a half of this cup. That's I'm telling you, so it does so much laundry. You can get like 100 loads out of this one bag with your laundry. And I have customers that will not use anything else now. They are hooked um, because it just does a great job cleaning all your clothes. It dissolves completely so it's not leaving any kind of residue that's going to cause irritation to your skin. And it does a great job even on smells. One of my favorite um, testimonials is from one of my customers whose child was a fed wetter and she couldn't get that smell out of the sheets with anything. Once she got it out with Norwet, she was like, I, you know what I mean, I'm sold. So it just does such a great job on all your clothes. It's also great as a multi-purpose cleaner. Um, just put it in some water with a, in a water bottle and let it dissolve. There's great little spots on the carpet, all kinds of different things. So that's your laundry detergent. So how to wash them. So after each use, I'm gonna give you this little rhyme so you can remember. After each use, you want to rinse, rub, rain, hang to dry in between washing. Okay? Rinse, this is the number two one, rinse, rub, rain, hang to dry in between washing. I said rinse, rub, rain, hang to dry in between washing. But you just remember that. After each use, that's what you want to do. And then it, like I said, it has a little tab that you hang them to dry, and then you go on about your business. But when it's time to actually launder them, which I advise people once a week, every 10 days, something like that, I won't lie, go a little longer, but that's my business. So, <laughs> you can do what you want at your house, but that, you know, that's my advice. So, I would say you need to use hot water so the fibers expand and open up and let go of everything they picked up. They pick up a lot of stuff. You want to use a good detergent because you don't want to use a detergent full of junk because the cloths are made to pick up junk. And so you don't want all of that trapped in your cloth. Hot water, good detergent, yes. Bleach, fabric softener, dryer sheets, no. You don't want to use bleach because it is strong and harsh and will just eat away at your cloth very quickly. You don't want to use fabric softener, and dryer sheets because guess what? It just puts a coating on your clothes. That's why you smell it all the time. If you put a coating on the cloth, it can't get to the surface to clean it like it should. So, um, and fabric softener dryer sheets are filled with chemicals that just irritate the skin because your body is, your skin is an organ. And so what you put on it gets taken into the body and into the bloodstream. You put that fabric softener dryer sheets on your clothes, on your sheets, on your towels, on your, you know, things you use in the kitchen. So you're touching it all the time. We don't want that. Okay, so in this Safe Haven 5 package, you're gonna get one environment cloth, you're gonna get one window cloth, you're gonna get one drop cleaning case, one dust mitt, and a bag of laundry detergent. And I will tell you, like I said, you're gonna want more than one of these things, so hosting a party is a great way to go. And these beautiful, these lovely, lovely colors, you cannot get these colors by buying them. You can only get them when your friends are good to you, like one of you are gonna be for our hostess, Miss Melissa, tonight, and host a party so that she can get the <laughs> so that she can get these for free. So these are definitely an awesome add to what you already have. So I will also tell you that another great way to get all of these things is when you join my team because all of these things come in. And so I, I'm always looking for people to help me spread the mission because you know, how many of you, you saw all of you who didn't know about Norwood, guess what? There's so many more people who don't know. So we need other people to go out and share with us so other people can know that they have this option to be able to clean for themselves and their families. So that's basic. There are probably other things I would do. That's how I can 